Tariq Nasheed and Luke have been battling it out on social media, and it has looked like a Joe Frazier versus Ali fight. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Thank you for joining us today. We've got a really heated topic on our hands, and it involves some big names in the Pan-African and FBA foundational Black American spaces. We're talking about O'Shea Duke Jackson and his defense of Tariq Nasheed. Despite Nasheed releasing what many are calling a xenophobic, hate-filled music video aimed at degrading Africans and the broader Black diaspora. Now, what do y'all think about this? Tariq Nasheed has been clashing with other public figures like Luther Luke Campbell, most notably over their conflicting takes on politics, culture, and the Black community's future. O'Shea Duke Jackson, a prominent figure, celebrates Nasheed's controversial moves, but refuses to call him out when his attacks go too far. Like in this case, where Nasheed targeted Africans and others in the diaspora in his music. The fact that O'Shea stays silent on this says a lot, doesn't it? Let's break it down. Over the years, Luke has flip-flopped on political stances, once criticizing the Democratic Party for ignoring African Americans and now urging black men to return to it. His beef with Nasheed escalated when Nasheed fired shots at Luke for his controversial past as a member of two live crew, even mocking Luke's legacy of promoting sexual content in hip-hop. Nasheed's critique paints Luke as a figure responsible for pushing degeneracy into the culture, something Nasheed believes hurts the black community more than it helps. But what takes this whole thing to another level is the divisive rhetoric being thrown around, particularly Nasheed's portrayal of Luke and others as agents working against the interests of black Americans. This is where O'Shea Duke Jackson comes in. He's been hyping up Nasheed's stance without critically assessing the harmful xenophobia and divisive nature of his message. The silence from O'Shea on this particular issue raises eyebrows because it makes it look like he's more focused on standing by Nasheed than addressing the real damage these kinds of statements and music can cause to Pan-African unity. So what are your thoughts? Does O'Shea Duke Jackson's refusal to criticize Nasheed signal a deeper issue within the FBA and Pan-African movements? And what do you think of Luke and Nasheed's back and forth? Watch the rest of this video to get the full context of everything that's going down. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Let's get into it.